active range of motion help for the hips. Your goal is to create the biggest circle possible at the hip. Think about hitting the outer ranges of motion. Like you're scraping that last little bit of ice cream out of the ice cream bowl. Every part of that circle should feel like it is your outer range. You cannot go any further. The movement should happen at the hip and not the low back. So use a tool. Put something along the low back. If it falls off, then you know you're cheating the movement. Do this movement beside a mirror. Turn your head every now and then and just double check that that movement is happening at the hip and not the low back. This is an example of excessive motion elsewhere. Other things are moving when they shouldn't. To help avoid excessive motion, squeeze the muscles in the body. Create tension through the system to your max safest tension. This will help reduce movement at other joints. As you become more competent with the movement, that tension is going to increase, so it feels like work. We'll challenge your breathing, so it will feel like there's more effort being put into the pattern. The use of this ball instead of something flat is definitely going to challenge the pattern much more. It'll make you much more aware that the movement is coming from the hip only and not the low back. Start with three circles to the left, three to the right. Try to incorporate it into your daily activity as much as possible, or even every second day. No matter what you choose, just be consistent with it. The goal is to improve the outer ranges at the hip. Plus, you can also use this as a assessment on yourself. Are you maintaining hip range? Are you improving it? Or are you losing some of it? So if you do this on a consistent basis, you can stay on top of all of that. If you feel like you're getting too much motion at the knee, another quick tip is to take a tennis ball or a rolled up towel and just squeeze it behind the knee. Remember, the less motion at other joints other than the hip, the better.